Colorblind mode in like StarCraft and League of Legends, but yeah. this is the first time I'd encountered it in relation to a one one bar game. Yeah. And so that's when we started adding the symbol. Okay. And recently we actually hardened the edges on the square because it was kind of rounded. Uh -huh. And some people still like the game. Uh -huh. so we made more distinct. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of good games, they're simple to play, but they're both master. I think ours isn't necessarily difficult to master, but it's difficult to stay alive once you get up to level 30. So, I believe the highest record we've set is level 40 so far. I don't know that anyone's got that 40. So, does your ball just keep falling and falling and falling? Well, keep falling and falling and falling. Okay. However, as you um, destroy balls, your power super, uh, super mode bar Down the bottom, yeah. Yeah, fills up. Okay. And when it's full, you tap it, gravity shuts off, the uh -huh. ball starts to rise. Okay, so that's what you need to do. Yes. And that's the other thing that we need to apply that we have here in the 40s, the high 30s. popular enough for us to do like a Dumb Ball 2. Uh -huh. Multiplayer is what people have where if you remember like Dr. Mario yeah. or that the Sonic the Hedgehog version of Tetris, I think. Uh, you drop as you make moves, you'll drop balls on your opponent. Oh right, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Everyone likes to drop balls on their friends, right? <laughs> and you know, just for kicks, uh, inside joke in the window. Um, we'd love to have a counter on the website for the game, so it's like connected to the API. Yeah. So it'll constantly help me. Like, you know, McDonald's have like over 2 million serves. Yeah. Ours would say over like 5,000 people all this month. <laughs> We're in games. It's good to have fun. And, yeah. You know, there's a few things that you don't joke about, but everything else is good. <laughs> also, you get frustrating sometimes when you can't make a move. Like, that's how you die in the pool and other mastery games. Well, in ours, you'll be able to actually shake your device to make the ball. 
actually have to talk to our programmer and say, was there a feature change I wasn't informed about, or did, was there a bug in this latest build? Because it's supposed to be that the ball you touch to the rainbow ball sends the color, yeah. but right now, if the ball you connect the rainbow ball to the next, it doesn't. So okay. even though I didn't destroy the blue ball, I touched it last, yeah. so everything turned blue. Everything turned blue. Yeah, and it's actually, even though I'm pretty sure it was an accident, uh -huh. I'm really going to have to think about saying, you know what, that could actually be a cool thing to do, because usually whatever you connect to the rainbow ball, if you had like three to five, like say pink balls uh -huh. connected to the rainbow ball, you were good on pink. You don't need more pink. Right. But that one ball that by itself is the only blue ball on the screen, yeah. it's going to clog you up forever. So actually touching it to it and converting yeah. allows you to then destroy it. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes the best feature is to start off with yeah. bugs. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, that thing you did on accident, <laughs> program it Make so it that it's happen. actually intended. <laughs> cool. Exactly. So, um, oh, uh, oh okay. of course, Facebook integration yeah. will be important for being friends, you know, and yeah. saying, hey, I got this nice score, try to meet me, you know, yeah. you can. Is this going to be like a replay game? We've been debating that, we're really hoping to see what publishers want to yeah. recommend yeah. or how much they want to take it in. Okay. One option is premium, of course, yeah. like everything else. Yeah. Um, I need to destroy the bottom half of the screen. Uh -huh. However, golden rule of microtransactions is never sell power. Yeah. So if we implemented that IAP, you would get no points for the balls destroyed that way. Maybe you pay you to stay alive. Fail you out. Yeah, which will give you the opportunity to get more points, but we will not let you buy your points okay. and stay alive. That's okay. overpowered and breaks the game. Yeah. And then you can create this fracture in your community in order to have versus to have not. Yeah. And that just brings toxicity as one of them. Yeah. Uh, going to some triple A talks and uh, copy Yeah. <laughs> um, another option would be that there's only ever one bomb on the screen, uh -huh. so we can sell people, you know, and there's only one bomb on the screen, we can put one bomb on the screen. Yeah. Or even superpowered bomb, where instead of a two ball radius, you can have three or four. Yeah. Things like that. And for multiplayer, it's in China especially, they love being able to buy even just like a 5% incremental boost. Where instead of dropping like 20 balls on my opponent, I got 21. Yeah. Like for a penny, they'll do that. <laughs> you sell a pack of like a hundred for a dollar. Yeah. Yeah, they'll go through the thing like candy. Yeah. I'm having a pack of I know it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, game is basically done, and you're just kind of looking for the publisher and exploring those types of options. When do you think you might come out with it? So, I mean, absolute early this would be like. Well, uh, it looks fun, and uh, thank you for sitting down and showing us the Nama Ball. Um, we'll uh, let everyone know once we find out when it will be coming out with them too. Thanks for having us. It was a real pleasure, and thank you for this opportunity. Cool. Thank you.